Okay, guys, um, look, we're here in Canada, which is lovely, but we are running a little bit short on money and also spare parts, thanks to some recent incidents, um, Jack. But, uh, mate, you don't need a rear wing, right? Hi, guys, I'm Aussie Villain, and welcome back to Aussie Villain Racing for the Canadian Grand Prix today. And we do have some things to update you on on the cars. Now, obviously, things have not been going brilliantly. Lots and lots of crashes. Uh, thank you for the comments. There has been an update uh, but basically what you guys have said is that first season there's sort of a, a 70 million gap in the budget and that is presumably as you said uh, because you have to develop a whole new car engines but have to be bought things like that so <laughs> we've got 19 percent of our budget remaining these updates are they coming on the car now may well need to be the last ones that we bring because we're going to really struggle to get to the end of the season in budget i think so uh yeah that is that now we do have we do have some upgrades on the car now one thing i i'm torn as to who to give updates to if we look at the drivers championship here van dorn is currently ahead of doing but i think we've seen throughout what we've had so far that i think doing is the quicker driver van dorn is the more experienced and higher rated one and higher in the championship so um, this is where i'm sort of struggling with what to do um but what we do have is a new chassis only one of them, though, um, and Doan did crash here, so I'm, uh, I want to give it to Doan. I think I'm going to give it to Doan because I think he's quicker. There's obviously a massive risk that he crashes it, but if he's going to crash another chassis. We would have to build another one anyway. So uh, one thing you will notice with this one, though, is I've, I've made a real effort in developing the car to help to make us better. So we've really, DRS effectiveness is going to be higher and engine cooling as well. Uh, we're making that a lot better. Uh, other things will improve as well, but I'm sort of focusing on what is the big weaknesses of the car. Now, the other thing that we have, and we might as well give both updates to the same car, um, is another underfloor. Now, again, uh, not a huge update in terms of um, attribute values, but it does move us up the grid a little bit. So, yeah, that is, uh, that is a good thing. Now, the other thing that we have coming shortly is a rear wing. Now, that's not with us yet. We've got uh, new suspension. We've got to put on both cars. Uh, we have a new rear wing that is coming. And again, that's going to really help us on our aerodynamics um, down the straights. See so drag reduction and whatnot. So I'm really hoping that when that gets here and a rear wing around Canada would have been a very nice thing to have. But unfortunately, uh, we've not quite managed to do that. Um, we are apparently critically low on front wings as well, which is not ideal. But anyway, uh, that's where we're at here. Let's go and see what we can do. Uh, Canada, let's have a look at it. It's uh, it's going to rain for the race. Is that light rain? It's going to rain on free practice as well. So red sector one, blue sector two, yellow sector three. Uh, mostly slow speed corners, medium speed corners, and uh, long, long straights. Uh, which doesn't necessarily suit us too much. Although you'll see on Jack Doohan's car now, 11th on medium speed corners as well, 11th on acceleration. Top speed is what's going to really hurt us here, I think. Um, time considerations, it's a short stop. It's a very low pit stop loss. So if we will probably look to do an extra stop, I think, to make sure that we have, uh, the, we're have we going as, as best we can. Uh, historically, Max Verstappen, as is uh, tradition in everywhere, more or less. And our race targets, I think... Let's go both drivers 20th, 20th or higher. I think 18th might be a little ambitious. 16th on the grid, uh, I think eight. All right, uh, no, because he'll probably crash. Now, of course, the one thing with light rain on the Sunday, it doesn't matter of strategy, it's because the weather's going to determine that, isn't it? So I'm going to do some free practice. I will see you for qualifying, and hopefully, oh, just don't crash. We're just too expensive to crash. <laughs> All right, so we've done free practice, and it didn't go too badly. FP1 was uh, interrupted by weather, so you can see of the, the cars that did dry times, uh, we were fourth and seventh, um, but again, it's wet, and we got to happen to get a dry lap in. Uh, FP2, we were a little bit slower. Now, we did have old engines in, and uh, where are we? Uh, Montreal is a little bit power uh, sensitive, so 12th and 18th isn't too bad. Remember, of course, Dewan has the newly upgraded car. And then FP3, it was 18th and 19th. Again, maybe not great, but I'll put new engines in, and we're a big chance of getting out of Q1 here, I think. All right, so we're on board with Stoffel for his first run here. Uh, now, one thing I did just want to ask, because um, it seems to be, as I said at the, at the top, general consensus is that cost cap is not going to go well for us. Is there an argument that if we're going to get sacked at the end of the season anyway, or not, you know, break cost cap, should I basically start again 
we'll hire the same two drivers, but I can be a little bit more maybe wise in how we develop the car, knowing that we have less money and not... Because uh, obviously I wasn't aware that we were that much short coming into things. Um, and just sort of getting back up to this point, just sort of simulating, so not really paying attention to the races. Hopefully we get some less crashes, because uh, that's going to save us money down the line as Van Dorn does a 12.9. Doohan comes across and does a slower time with the updated car that's not great jack but let's see how we compare to somebody else do we are we going to get a reference anytime soon and we are eight tenths off sonoda a second 1.8 seconds off science that's not good is it all right so we're on board with jack doing for the second run we are currently 19th and 20th which i've got to say is just so so disappointing i really did think we would uh, be a chance of, of getting out of q1 here i've left it as long as possible the track is now rubbered in from low to normal so hopefully that'll make us faster we have new tires on both cars van dorn has not gone faster i wonder if that car we just sped past has anything to do with that um and van dorn again is not going faster in the second sector doing is so it looks like it is session over for Stoffel. I don't see him uh, being able to go any faster, but Jack might be able to, and he needs to, because he's got the upgraded car. Here we go. What does he do? Jack doing. He goes slower. 19th and 20th. So double Q1 elimination is so, so disappointing. But we do, of course, have a wet race, so let's have a look and see what we can do to try and rectify that. So it's going to be wet at the start, uh, and then it's going to dry out towards the end. Um, all right, so obviously we start on the inter, and we do soft, soft. That that seems the logical way to go, doesn't it? Uh, where's this track graph? See, that's going to dip into that's going to dip into dry, I think there. So I have to keep an eye on things, but yeah, I think soft, soft to the end is definitely the way to go rather than a hard tie-up. You don't lose much in the pit stop, obviously. So I dare say that's going to be it for both cars then. Um, if we were to get rid of that and try and do a hard tyre all the way to the end, a hard tyre would do it. So... In theory, it's possible. So maybe we'll see where we are on the track. If there's not much to lose, then maybe we could do a hard tyre to the end. Um, I still think we don't have natural pace in the car. We need to get the pace from the tyres. But anyway, we've got some options there. Let's see if we can uh, get a good result. All right, here we go. Now, uh, yeah, wet race might give us half a chance. It would have been better, I think, if we had had... Oh, that's not what I to do. If we had had, um, you know, like it go back to wet at some point or something along those lines. But the fact that it is uh, going to be wet and then just dry out maybe doesn't help us too much. Uh, we will just try and cool down the engines a little bit. I'm, what I'm hoping is that the upgrades on Dubin's car maybe make it... As we've seen before, we've been quick in qualifying, but not necessarily in the race. Um, so what I'm hoping is that the, the upgrades on his car maybe do make us a little bit more competitive uh, You know, now that we, we come to racing. So time will tell on that front, won't it? Um, and yeah, we're just sort of we're in the queue. And let's hope that... Let's hope that we get... Uh, clean race as much as anything we need a bit of chaos don't we if we can get some chaos in front of us then you never know all right well van dorn is a little bit stuck in a in a sergeant train which is maybe not surprising that there's a sergeant train but we could do with trying to get uh, some overtakes done um but yeah it's it's not the easiest situation doing is uh, just a little bit back um, which is again, which is fine. Ideally, uh, we'd like him a little bit closer, perhaps. But I can already see the difference in that uh, Doohan is keeping his tyres in a better condition, and the engine is cool up. So the upgrades that we brought to the car are definitely working on that front, uh, which is which is obviously good. That will can only help our race pace. But uh, he is he is dropping back a little bit. I wonder if uh, let's get rid of the ERS battle assist. Um, Doohan has a brand new engine in for this one as well, but his ERS is uh, is quite secondhand, so he will need to take a penalty. I almost did it for this race, but I, I maybe I should have. Um, 
And then, yeah, Van Dorn is just going to need penalties as well, to be honest. But we don't, we'll don't. we take it off battle assist. They don't need to be charging. They just need to try and get some overtakes done and see if if we can get uh, up the field a little bit. That's a good one potentially on Bottas, is it? Deploy, deploy, go, 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 Van Dorn. Go, Van Dorn. Let's see if he can make the move stick into the chicane. We've got the inside line. You can see we're a little bit slower in a straight line, but late on the brakes. And there's a move done. So excellent. Van Dorn up to 17th. And before I forget, the board were happy. They were satisfied anyway with the result in Monaco. So 17th or so, that's going to that's gonna keep us in a job from the board point of view. It's just the money, I think, that becomes the problem then. All right, so we are now getting a little bit stuck behind Ocon here. So we're going to have a bit of a go at getting past him. We'll deploy and hopefully get a move done. Looks like he's going to defend. Can we make him know? Not quite. Can we get him off this corner? We've got the inside line. If we can have a lunge, we're a long way back, though. We're going to stick out at this, though, because I really do. You can see he's dropping back from uh, Sergeant in front. So I really do want to try and get this move done if we can at all manage it. Can we get it done in the inside there? Not quite. There we go. Got a good run there. That should be that. We've got the inside line. We'll keep deploying off the corner to make sure we get a good drive. And eventually, we should have this done now. And it looks like it is indeed done. So well done, Stoffel. That's him up to 16th. And now we definitely need to start getting Jack Doohan up the road a little bit here as well. As he has dropped a little bit away from uh, the Ocon and Bottas battle in front. But we'll let him catch up. And then we'll go and have a... Uh... Well, Ocon is really slow, isn't he? As Bottas has just got past him as well. So, yeah, Jack needs to make pretty quick work of him. And then, I mean, next up for Van Dorn, we're looking at uh, Sergeant who's got past Stroll. Track is now dry. Now, this was the... We were expecting this, weren't we? And then it's going to get wet again. So that's dry there, which is a good reference point for future uh, future dry spells. But we just need to we need to try and make the tyres last a little bit. Is that Van Dorn getting overtaken by Bottas? Don't let that happen, mate. Ah, don't let that happen. Don't let that happen, Van Dorn. Come on. Getting back. Ah, oh, he's going to get followed through. Is he by Ocon? Don't let that happen, stuff. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? Back behind Bottas. Okay, so with the track having gone dry, well, there's DRSs available, which is probably explains why Bottas was able to get past us. So hopefully we'll be able to get him back here because the track is just about to go back to wet. And I've really had a go with Doohan to try and catch him up here, but I think it's been a little bit too little too late on that front. And I don't know that we're going to get the DRS move done here. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? So there's the track going back to them. Can Doohan get a move done and knock on? Not quite. So I'm assuming DRS is going to be no longer active. Do we get it here? No. So we are now waiting for the rain to pass. And uh, we're not a million miles away from 14th. Which would be a massive result for us if we could get that. Oh, red flag! Red flag, red flag right in front of us. And it was just getting to the point where we were going to have to, uh, we we're going to have to come Here in for dry tyres as well. And it There's is Sergeant and Stroll. And there's Bottas who had just got past said, them. Ocon had just got past risky. us as well. Uh, but you can see, sun's out. It was probably good. a lap or two. I was just about to come back uh, and start talking again. And then right in front of us, ah, a red flag. The so the that, in a way, is bad because it means that everybody's going to come out on uh, their tyres to the end. And I, st I still think soft, soft, though I'm very tempted to split the strategy. Um, particularly now that if everybody's starting, if everybody's starting together, like there's no gap in the field. I wonder if there is something to say about a hard tire. So let's go Van Dorn, soft, soft. Yeah. I just wonder if... No, because the thing is, is that it's not a, it's not a big, it's not a big time loss. And if everybody's together, then in theory, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have split it. 
Not for the first time today. Let's have a look. Is that a hard tire on the Red Bulls at the front? If everybody's on a hard tire, and away we go. then maybe that does help us a little bit. Let's have a look here. It's pretty much a mix of everything, isn't it? So Sergeant's got a time penalty in front. Stroll is out. Uh, we don't want to cook these tyres too much too early on. Uh, we probably don't want to be racing each other too desperately either. But uh, yeah, it's a very different race now, isn't it? It's a soft tyre to the end. We've got, to, we've got to get the overtakes done on the guys that are not on a soft tyre. Uh, Sergeant is really not in our race at this point with a five second time penalty. Even though he is on a soft tyre, we just need to make that move. And then start cutting our way through the hard tyre runners. And that's going to be where this race uh, is won or lost from here. Oh, go on. Go on. Good move. That's a really good move from Doan. All right. We should have DRS available. Ocon is just going to be inside. Did he just hit the wall there? It was very close if he didn't. So the next few cars are the hard tyres. And we've got past them with Van Dorn as well. Yeah, so we need to get up to Russell as quickly as possible here, please. And thank you. And here we go past Ocon. Excellent work, Doan. Love to see that, mate. Now, can Van Dorn go and do... Oh, not quite done yet. Not quite done yet. Congratulating him a touch early there. But he should get it done. That shouldn't be a problem. We should get that re overtake redone fairly soon. Uh, we had to take it off of uh, charge because... Uh, or deploy, I should say. Because uh, we were going to run out of battery anyway. So... This should be fairly comfortable this time. And we'll get another dose of that. Can Van Dorn go and get him as well? Not quite. But we are halfway through this race, or more or less. We're about to get Bottas there, are we? Go on, Dorn. And we can see the points. We can, we can absolutely see the points up here. Now, there's a lot of mechanical issues. Hamilton and Hulkenberg, I think, are holding everybody up here. Um, but if we can, again, we've got to cut through these dog eyes on harder tyres. We, we know we're going to lose time to a pit stop. Now, we're going to come out and be that much quicker again than everybody. I, I am confident that we'll make up the time than what we would have done. It's just whether we'll, we will actually be quick enough. But, yeah, we, we, I don't think the car, it's still just not, even with the upgrades on Dylan's car, it's still just not quite good enough. As we come, we get two and one. Can we get two and one? Hamilton does have the mechanical issue. Uh, so if we can get him done pretty quickly here, that'll be P13. Hulkenberg in front has a mechanical issue as well. And Jack's looking right at the edge of the points here. But again, we've got to make another stop, so we can't get too excited just yet. Stoffel is just a little bit stuck, although it looks like he's about to get back past Sargent. As we've got a yellow flag, it's Doan facing the wrong way. We just saw it as we went past. Doan, man, come on. Is he ever going to learn? What? It was right there for him. He's just, what, lit up the rears? Lit up the rears. Remember Kimi Wakenen doing that in a Ferrari too. He did it twice, I think. Oh, safety car deployed. And it's because Doan... Is in the wall. Don't worry. Oh, I don't know, Jack. I don't know what to do with you. And you've just destroyed, of course, and you underfloor. And we can't afford to keep him. I mean, legitimately, we cannot afford to keep him. It's not like we're telling him to push. All right, so we're going to take this opportunity to pit. We'll go onto a medium tire, which will get us to the end. Um, I'm assuming that's what people that are pitting are doing. They're going on the hard tires, which is a bit of a weird one, I would have thought. Can we get a good stop, more or less? Um, yeah, I ah, doing. We were we were really looking good for a really our best result there, and I don't know. I don't know. All right, so safety car is ending. We are 17th with Van Dorn. Um, Hulkenberg with a mechanical issue on a hard tire. We should be able to get. Um, 
Yeah, and then we'll just kind of see from there. There's a big, big lunge into turn one, and that has caught Ocon out on the same tyre. That's very nicely done, Stoffel. What frustrates me so much with doing is that he's, he's clearly quicker, isn't he? He's definitely quicker than Van Dorn. I have gone into his development, and we're trying to work on things. I'll try and remember to show you what we're doing. Um, as that is, yeah, Hulkenberg is a bit of a sitting duck, so that's 15th. I mean, this is a good run from Van Dorn. I think we've got to put any new updates now, if there was ever a doubt. As quick as doing is, there's no point being quick if you're in the wall every race, is there? So, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do about him. I really don't. He's too expensive. Um, he reminds me. He reminds me of his like uh, rookie season Sonoda, where he just he's just you know clearly quick, but just crashing all the time. Anyway, we've got, uh, who have we got here? Is this Hamilton slowing everybody down? Let's go and get him. There's an Aussie villain racing car passing a Mercedes. That's very nice to see. It's both Mercedes, actually. That's Russell. And can we go and get uh, go and get Hamilton now as well? Bit of DRS. Should be doable. And this is going to be P13. I don't think we'll stay ahead of Russell for too long, in truth. Tell you what, the points aren't that far away for Stoffel here, the way he's going. Alright, so Russell has just got back past us. I'm really wishing I'd given Van Dorn the updates here, I've got to say. Uh, in front of Russell is a struggling Alonso with a mechanical issue. Then we've got Bottas and Albon. Bottas and Albon are both in the points right now. So, I mean, where we go? We're about to go and get past Alonso. He is, as I said, he's injured, so that should be fairly straightforward. He's clearly falling back through the pack. Hopefully he won't make it too difficult for us. It looks like he does have DRS, which is not ideal. Um, we've got Ocon behind us. We could really do with getting this overtake done. We don't need to be falling any further back. Uh, Russell, who we did briefly overtake, is up into the points now. But if we can, over the last 24 laps or so of this race, beat a Sauber and a Williams, we're going to score a championship point here which would be very, very exciting. Now, Alonso won't have DRS this time, surely. And that should make him fairly, fairly easy pickings up the straight here. Yeah, and he's not going to fight this one too hard. All right, that's P12. Let's see if we can go and hunt down a point here. All right, well, we've spent the last few laps just going back and forth with Ocon. Now, I've told Van Dorn not to defend because we're just losing time to Bottas in front defending. Unfortunately, Ocon um, thinks it's extremely important for him to hang on to 12th place and not try and run down the points. And so is slowing us both up right now, which is just... It's just killing both our races. Um, so what we might do even is just harvest him because we're getting DRS along. Alonso is sort of hanging on. He's got no pace down the straights, though, so he's, whatever his issue is, is clearly, um, you know, it, it's... You can't have lack of pace down the straights here and expect to do anything. So we'll try and, and charge up the battery, and then we'll just go a couple of really big push laps, try and both get past Ocon, break the DRS, and then see if we can get up to the back of Bottas. But, yeah, this is just... it's just slowly drifting away from us unfortunately any chance of points here and actually by harvesting and dropping back a little bit from Ocon and he's, him not defending we may well actually improve everybody's lap times so there might be a double benefit to this but uh, we should have DRS we do just need to be a little bit careful that we get DRS coming out of here maybe we shouldn't have been harvesting though we ducked back in I think so we're okay so yeah we'll have this battery fully charged in a lap or so's time and then we, then we attack. Alright, so Ocon must have heard me, because he's attacked first. <laughs> uh, we're going to try and run him and Bottas down now. Um, and we've got a little bit of extra tyre life to play with here as well. So we'll we'll use that up. The engine is overheating quite a badly. Um, I've been trying to ignore it, but it damages the engine, which is probably why we are so bad uh, on engine wear. But it looks as though we've caught back up to Ocon here. Uh, we might even be able, if he doesn't have DRS here, which doesn't look like he does, be able to get an overtake done potentially into here. Bit of DRS, away we go. That's P12. Let's go and see if we can get Bottas here as well. That would be... And then we just need a little bit of luck 
there's another yellow flag. Multiple cars have crashed. Is it please be in front of us? Please be in front of us. Who is it? Now this was at turn one. No, oh, it's at the Dangerously back. Dangerously close it's to each back. other. That's pointless. That doesn't help us. Ah, for a wonderful moment then, I thought maybe, maybe all our luck was going to come in at once. But no such, uh, no such luck. And I dare say Ocon is about to come back past us now as well. Uh, oh no, he's just outside of DRS, so maybe not. We've got to be a little bit careful on tyre way here, but the temperatures aren't too bad, so hopefully it'll be okay. But Bottas seems to be responding to us, yeah. 16th, so second a lap faster than us there, despite the fact we were pushing. Kind of puts us in our place a little bit, doesn't it? I mean, P12 would be such a good result for us. Um, but equally, just kind of a little bit disappointing. We're not there yet, though, of course. Ocon is uh, being very, very annoying, isn't he? Well, this wasn't meant to happen. Gasly, out of nowhere, has closed up three seconds in a lap. And, um, yeah, he's overtaken us, which is doubly annoying now. Bloody Alpines, go away. All right, we are coming around to start three laps to go. Now, we have just got past Gasly, uh, or having already got past Ocon, and that is Bottas in front, which is 11. And if we have any sort of luck left at all, and we've got to have something somewhere, surely, then we could get Bottas and then have uh, someone in the top 10. Norris does have a mechanical issue, but I don't think that's going to come to our rescue somehow. But it would be very, very nice to nick a point, wouldn't it? Especially if it comes off of uh, Salva or Alpine, who I think are still scoreless with us as well. So let's see what we do here. Nothing nothing doing on that one. Uh, Ocon is still behind us as well, so we're not sort of out of danger of him. We could, we shouldn't finish any worse than 14th here, which is, which is nice. I do wonder, I think Doohan possibly could have got a point. I think he, he could have got ahead of Albon if he'd uh, not spun and then hit the wall, which is a lot of ifs. <laughs> I will uh, I will say that is, uh, I'll take that as granted, but it would have been interesting to see where he could have finished. Um, yeah, I think he could have got a point today. But he needs to stop crashing, doesn't he? So, we have got two laps to go. Can we go and get a move done here on anybody? Not quite yet. We've got so much extra fuel, I'm just worried about... And I underfueled him by three laps as well. So the leader, which is Leclerc, is starting his last lap of the race. And I think we probably have enough now that we can go and deploy to the end, or certainly almost to the end. And let's see. Let's just burn this engine. Let's just burn this engine. <laughs> I'm going to regret doing that, aren't I? Here we go. Here we go. Can we get two in one? Can we get two in one? Oh, not quite. They are both on hard tyres, but it looks like... It looks like we've not quite done that. Oh, Bottas, go away, dude. We've just got to stay close here. We've just got to That's stay Leclerc. close as Leclerc, Leclerc wins the race. And then that last straight. Oh, he's taken off. He's taken off as Bottas. He's going to break the DRS. He's going to break the DRS. We need a good exit. We are outside of it. Oh, he's going to get us. He's going to get us. We're out of battery. Gasly might get us as well here, actually, because we are... Yeah, he's got it. Well, 13th is not bad. We weren't far away there, though, were we? These points are coming. So there we go. No points, but I think we can hold our heads up high there, can't we? 13th for Van Dorn. Doing as is tradition now, in the wall. Uh, now, that should move him up the standings as well, does it? He moves up one ahead of Gwen Yu Zhou for a best finish. And doing Six DNFs, Jack. Come on. <laughs> how, many, how many rounds have we had? We can't have had seven more. We've only probably had six. Have we? Has he finished a race? He must have finished a race, surely. He must have finished a race. How many rounds have we had? Um, Stoff. Got seventh for pit stop points. Let me just move that a little bit so you can see. And that's going to mean we move up a place. No, we go down a place. William's got us there. So we are sixth in that. Uh, just curious. So how many rounds have we had here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine. So he's, he's crashed out of six of the nine races. 
I mean, that's almost impressive, isn't it? Now, has he done damage to powertrains? Not really. Uh, but chassis, front wing, and suspension are all done. Then his side pods need a replacing. Ah, oh, Jack, you're just, you're just killing me. So if we look at the board, though, they are still low confidence, but they're happy with that. So that's something, isn't it? We're st I think we are starting to just about turn things around. Um, it's going to be the money. So let me know what you think. Do we see what's on the writing on the wall here and uh, and sort of, you know, come back? Uh, maybe better bit, bit better financially um i don't know there's that much difference i could have done other than emergency purchases that obviously we could we could really have used that seven million what's going to kill us though is if we look at the powertrains on both cars um uh, we are going to need a new engine for uh for jack i think to get to the end of the season i can't see him getting there on that although he might he, he's definitely going to need a new ers because he's almost finished that one and gearboxes again he's not going to get to the end on this gearbox so he needs another one and it's the same case with stuff uh he is going to need another engine in all likelihood um but eos again he's going to need a fourth one and uh, gearboxes i think he's on his last new gearbox so this gearbox is going to get to the end of the season either so we've got those expenses coming as well so yeah let me know what you think um that's been an enjoyable race though much better than it has been and we'll be back for the spanish grand prix which probably isn't going to go quite as well for us but uh 11 days time both cars should be fully upgraded we'll see what happens take care